friend in this video lecture i'm going to discuss on how to connect mongodb with visual studio so here you can see there is the red mark is there on the code of mongodb with csr.net so here first we need to uh, download the package so uh, we can easily download the package from the nutkit so here you can see when I click right click then you can see manage nutkit package you need to click there or uh, then uh, for this one internet must we connect and this is currently loading and uh, here this for install package and here no package is there so or uh, it's uh, loading but I'm not going to wait that so here I'm going to search Mongo DB. So now it's uh, searching MongoDB. So now you can see 151 million uh, people download this MongoDB Bison and next is MongoDB and uh, this is driver core. Okay, so here I'm going to download uh, this one and this you can get from the MongoDB. Okay, this is a MongoDB from and you can get so let's uh, uh, select this option then after click on this install and here click on this ok and I accept so uh, now what's happening it's so uh, now you can see it was uh, five errors but uh, it removed two errors that removed so this install now going to install this uh, MongoDB and driver. So click on this install and OK and accept. So it's a uh, three error currently it's so uh, showing. Now you can see there there are no any error in the code. So when I go on this, so here you can see uh, this uh, there is no any error. Now compiler understand the namespace of MongoDB Bison, MongoDB Driver. And here you can see MongoDB Client, MongoDB Client and here MongoDB. This is local host and here this is the port number. You can give your PC name also or your IP address. So here I am using go MongoDB for Studio 3D. Now let's do the comparison. So here you can see this is the port number and local host and here you can give Sony that is database now name and thereafter here employees that is so uh, or table names and after that uh, when giving all so here uh, we can do the filters so I want to only uh, display employee ID that has 100 ID so employee ID that is 100 that records it's should be display and after that find filter and uh, doc so converting to a string and printing the values so now if I run this code so here it's uh, code is so uh, running currently and now you can uh, see this is the data that's displaying and you can see uh, somewhere this is the employee ID and employee id then our first name is steven last name and hire date this all it's a or display so wait one second department that is now job id ad press and here in number long employee id that is number long so this or displaying go data apps and here 100 it's there and Steven name is Steven and last name it's all display so this is how we can uh, connect MongoDB with Visual Studio using code so here if I go on this package then you can see there are two packages that install so these two packages are essential to connect MongoDB with Visual Studio so you can apply any version of the Visual Studio not only 22 you can apply 1917 version so I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.